After finally escaping the wretched slave camp, Krim heads off with his new friend, Jacob, that he helped escape. Now, the two of them travel the desert, searching for something more. Searching for a place they can call their own. A place they won't be looked for. A place called home. We find our boys traveling through the desert here. There's someone from Drifter's clan just patrolling around, seemingly without much stuff. Actually, they're pretty well equipped. We've got our guys heading towards the nearest city, right here. I'm worried that there's still slave traders that live there, but you know what? My plan is simple. We're gonna get in, steal whatever we can, and get out. That way when we find a better real settlement that we can stay, we can make it our, our money off of the things we sold. And so they traveled for hours across the barren desert. It wouldn't be long until they found exactly what it was they were looking for. All right, so there's some people in front of us. They're bounty hunters. Now, we don't have a bounty on our heads. We're not criminals yet. However, we are slaves, and I'm worried that they'll take us. So we're going to do our best to avoid their path. We're going to get in, steal some stuff, and get out. And then immediately head somewhere else. I'm not sure where. This is not going to be a good time to stay in, I have a feeling. Some people are fighting up ahead. I think they're fighting a bone dog. That could be some meat. They're fighting... Outlaws? Outlaws that are somehow committing a crime? We can come loot this. Okay, I'm taking everything off this body. They don't seem to care. I mean, he had freaking armor. This is insane. Talk about lucky. Taking his pants and my pants. Putting his shirt on, because why not? Got some sandals. I'll take some sandals. And then a big old sword. Not the best sword in the world, but you know what? It's a sword. And what about you, Jared? Is there another body, or did they all... I think they all took him. So, Krim, knowing what has to be done in this world, and this man has only one leg and just isn't going well, he's doing what he must. and finishing off what the others started. Oh, is he not? Is he being attacked? Nope, the bounty hunters are. Oh my god, we're all swinging on the bounty hunter. Okay, they actually allowed us to knock him out and allowed Jared to check for weapons. Jared, get over here. Grab this big old pole, and you can take those pants. Actually, grab this horse chopper. Now, we'll take the big old pole, at least to sell, and he'll take the horse chopper like that. Grab the armor, put that on, some pants, a shirt for you, some boots for you, and some medical supplies. Dude, this is insanely lucky. These bounty hunters were actually a good thing. I thought they were going to be an awful thing, but they were a great thing. We're taking everything we can get our hands on here. There's ingredients. There's a bunch of supplies that are actually worth... Like, that, that leather is actually worth a good bit. I'm going to drop that in exchange for this leather. And that meat is probably worth a better... Like, going at than these pants. And these things are crazy good sell value for what they are. They're so small. I mean, 30 a piece? Damn. So that bone dog actually gave us some good stuff. 
I feel bad looting the corpse of a dead dog and a bunch of people, but like, you know what, we gotta do what we gotta do. We didn't kill these people except for one, and that was to make it look like we're good people on their side. Now we're gonna go in, sell our stuff, and we're gonna come out and we're going to <laughs> steal stuff from them. Alright, let's head in and find the shop to sell our stuff at. He told us to go on through. Probably makes sense considering how we're looking now. We'll head into this weapon shop right here. At least that's what it looks like. It'll probably be a good place to sell stuff, right? First of all, Krim, just walk up and talk to this lady. Jared, you can come up too. Well, that worked better. Alright, so yes, this is a weapon shop. They're selling, like, actual straight-up gun guns. Which is actually kind of insane. And they're selling, like, crazy bows here. I'm gonna sell the sword. I'm gonna sell an armor piece. We've only got one now. We probably shouldn't have sold the one, but it's fine. Uh... Sell all our miscellaneous crap. Jared, sell all these shirts. Sell these teeth. Thirty a piece is actually really worth it for killing those things. Could be hunters. Um, I'm gonna try to heat these up and eat it, but we can sell the animal skin. Alright, so we've got this guy equipped with a sword now. Uh, I've got a bunch of healing supplies. And we both got stealth things on. Oh no, he's got armor on actually. We both have armor on. Well, I have armor, but I don't have the armor on. Um, cool. We actually made quite a bit of money from that. That was really worthwhile. Now... I'm going to save and try to sneak around the shop and see if, if we're, we'd be able to get away with this or not. So, what I'm going to do is go back here behind the stairs, right? Where there's the least people. And we're going to start sneaking. And then we're going to slowly but surely make our way throughout the, ta the whole place. And we're going to try to get some stuff. Damn it. Stop sneaking. Stop sneaking, my boy. We don't want to set him off. This guy's coming our way. Alright, how about now? Somebody's still watching me. That corner, I don't think, is being fully guarded right now. Stop sneaking. Alright, sneak here. Also, I hear a fire. We might be able to actually use that. Alright, Krim, get as close to that chest as you can. We're probably not taking anything out of it because God knows that'll be a death sentence, but we can still lockpick and see what's inside. Oh my god. A freaking really good gun. I'd love to, but we really can't afford to die like that. Maybe one day, if we went that route, we could like raid this place. But I don't know that that's what we want to do. Anything that's not out in the open isn't safe to grab. But, there's plenty of stuff that is in the open that is safe to grab. How much is a wooden bowl worth and how much inventory does it take? It's worth crap and it takes up way too much for what it's worth. These things, however, are not worth crap, so they're they're worth taking. I'm keeping uh, Krim doing this because he's our stealthy boy. We got some copper, I know that's gonna be worth something. 
Some gears? How much is that worth? Ooh. About over here. Leather. Ranger stuff. Didn't try picking up the... Okay, we're out of space, huh? I'm gonna have him go give it all over to... Jared. We're robbing this police blind and getting out of here. Alright. Jared, take everything you can store in your inventory well. And you know what? Take a healing supply too, because you might as well have one. I'm hanging on to some armor in case we get into a fight and I need it. And then I guess I'll take that. I'll give that over to Jared too. As much as we can, right? That way we can carry as much as possible. Alright. Get over there. Grab what I see that's worth money. Fuel. Leather. Cup. Cup? Cup ain't worth jack shit. Leather's worth a good bit. Not much, but... Yeah. That fuel, though. That fuel's worth enough be worth something. Some steel balls over here. Bars, I mean. Steel balls. Too much Jojo. Now I see Saki and stuff like that. I'd really like to grab. Don't think I'm going to be able to make it out of eyesight, though. Alright, we're getting, we're getting a little caught up. Let's get out of here. Oh, we still have the chance. Hey, my name's Krim. Uh, can I buy some food, please? I need some food. Oh my god, they've actually got food. And we can afford it. We can't fence any of this off here, except for the heart protector, but we're not going to. Um, so, buying us both some chew sticks. I'll get more for me, ration-wise. I mean, that'll work, I guess. Our inventories are a bit of a mess. Krim and Jared need to go meet up near these corpses. Well, unconscious people, mostly. But there are corpses. And investigate what's on them. More healing supplies is always a good thing. It may not be the best situation, but they made it out of there with their lives. They're running right through these manhunters. They're in the clear, it seems. It's time for them to keep moving. See what else the desert has in store. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, they'll find new lands out farther past the desert. Now, they just run through the desert, doing their best to survive. What's that up ahead? Sand ninjas? I don't know that those are good people. I'm just running in one straight direction. Because I'm, if I'm being honest, I don't know the map well enough to know where the best place to go from out of the desert is in this situation. So I'm really just trying to get away from slave territory. And the desert is all slave territory to my knowledge. Slaves are, our slave drivers are everywhere out here. If I'm being happy, if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm just very happy to see us not starving anymore. Both Krim and Jared are only malnourished now, and as long as we can keep feeding them, that will change. They'll get stronger. There's definitely a new biome up ahead. Something besides desert, something rocky. Krim is looking chip shape, and he looks ready for it. They both got everything they need to survive, but I bet you bandits roam through here. It just feels like that kind of area. And you know, if I'm being honest, a more peaceful sounding area is down here. I think I'm going to send my boys down this way. Towards the ocean. We'll see what that has in store for us. Laying here unconscious on the ground, our boys have found a skimmer. It may be fruitful to them in some way. 
Look at that. Possibly edible raw meat. It's not very good. However, those animal claws are worth some money. Alright, so that stuff isn't very edible. Let's not eat it. But let's continue towards the ocean front. Our boys are doing everything in their power to make it to where they can find somewhere safe. They have yet to spend a night anywhere else. And the night is coming close. Soon, the boys themselves will be stuck in the dark in this barren wasteland. 